Hey, what's up everybody? Who is ready for another thriller of a free response? If only we could do these all the time. A student is given 2.94 grams of a mixture contained anhydrous MgCl2 and KNO3, magnesium chloride and potassium nitrate. To determine the percentage by mass of magnesium chloride in the mixture, the student uses excess silver nitrate to precipitate the chloride ions as AgCl. Part A. Starting with the 2.94 gram sample of the mixture dissolved in water, briefly describe the steps necessary to quantitatively determine the mass of the silver chloride precipitate. Okay, this is a classic gravimetric analysis question. Something that we will do in the lab, form a precipitate, analyze it. So we've taken this 2.94 gram sample, dissolved it in water. We're adding some silver nitrate to precipitate out the AgCl. Step one, add excess AgNO3. We want to add it in excess so that all of the chloride precipitates out to precipitate AgCl. Boom. Step one. Step two. Separate AgCl via filtration. Think about it. You've got this beaker. You've dumped in a bunch of silver nitrate. The precipitate silver chloride settles out to the bottom, but you just want the silver chloride. You do that by grabbing a piece of filter paper and a funnel, filter that sucker out. Then you're going to wash the precipitate with distilled water and dry completely. This is important because we're doing a lot of mass measurements here and we don't want any of the mass attributed to water. Then finally, we're gonna determine the mass of AgCl by difference. Just gonna subtract, boom, step one, two, three, four. This makes a lot more sense once you do it once or twice in the lab. So if you're having a hard time visualizing it now, don't worry. Part B, the student determines the mass of the AgCl precipitate to be 5.48 grams. So basically the student already did all these beautiful steps that we've outlined here, and they collected 5.48 grams of silver chloride. On the basis of this information, Calculate the following, subpart I, the number of moles of magnesium chloride in the original mixture. Okay, so we're looking for moles of MgCl2, and all we're given is the mass of AgCl. We've got 5.48 grams of AgCl. Now think about it, where did that chloride in the AgCl come from? It came from the magnesium chloride in the original mixture. So if we can figure out how much chloride we have, we can figure out number of moles of magnesium chloride in the original mixture. So first thing I'm gonna do is convert this to moles. My molar mass of AgCl is 143.32. I get that from my trusty periodic table. Grab a silver, grab a chlorine. Math. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert my moles of silver chloride to moles of chloride ions. That ratio is one to one. Again, think about the relationship in the formula between this whole compound silver chloride and chloride itself. For every one of these, there's one chloride ion. So that's where the one to one ratio comes from. In other words, if I know my moles of AgCl, I also know my moles of chloride ions. All right, and then my final step here, all of those chloride ions must have come from the magnesium chloride. Here, for every one mole of magnesium chloride, there are two moles of chloride ions. So pause this for a moment and think about the relationships that exist between chloride ions in AgCl and the chloride ions in MgCl2. Head to the calculator. This is my number of moles of silver chloride. Times one, divided by one. Same number of moles of chloride ions. Times one, divided by two. This is my number of moles of magnesium chloride in the original mixture. I'm gonna need three sig figs, which is where I get 0 0.0191 moles 
of MgCl2. Boom. Subpart II. Determine the number of chloride ions in the original mixture. Right, now there are a couple of ways that you can do this. We've already sort of solved for this here. We're just gonna stop a little earlier. 5.48 grams of AgCl. Again, remember that the chloride ions that are precipitating out as silver chloride all came from the chloride ions in the original mixture. I like to solve it this way since I already set it up for part I. But you could also work backwards now that you know how many moles of magnesium chloride you have. Just remember, it's asking us specifically for number of ions, so I need to convert using Avogadro's number. All right, let's calculate it up. Five, one, four, eight, divided by one, three, point three, two, answer. Seven number of moles of chloride, also moles of chloride ions. And multiply that by Avogadro's number, six point two, six point e, three. Three sig fig, so we get 2.30 times 10 to the 22 chloride ions. Boom. Subpart, I, 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 I. The percent by mass of magnesium chloride in the original mixture. So a percent by mass calculation is just the part over the whole times 100. And the part that we're looking for is MgCl2. What part of the original mixture is magnesium chloride? Now, we know the whole mass of the sample is 2.94 grams. So that's easy enough, 2.94. But I need to come up with the part of that that's magnesium chloride. I know from an earlier part how many moles of magnesium chloride was in the sample. 0 0.0191 moles. 0 0.0191 moles of magnesium chloride. I convert that to grams. The molar mass of magnesium chloride is 95.20. Quick trip to the calculator. 0.0191 times 95.20 is 1.82 grams is magnesium chloride. So I'm gonna throw that up here into my percent by mass calculation. Only 1.82 of the 2.94 grams is magnesium chloride. So I divide that by the total mass, multiply by 100 to get it to a percent. So this mixture is 61.8 percent magnesium chloride by mass. Ugh.